Wow, what do you know? It's time for the Pocket Knife Show. Hey, it's Mike on the mic again for another episode of the Pocket Knife Podcast. Every year toward the end of November, the people in the United States take a break from the frenzied pace of life to gather together in their homes, eat copious amounts of pumpkin pie, and give thanks. In my family, growing up, we had a tradition. Everyone had to say one thing they were thankful for before we could start passing dishes around the table. I struggled with this for some years, not because I wasn't thankful for a thing or two. I just wanted those mashed potatoes on my plate. When the give thanks task came around to me, I mumbled something about my mom or dad or dog and waited while the rest of the clan droned on and on about the great things God had given them. Seriously, it was probably only a minute or two. It seemed like an eternity to my younger, more impatient, hungry self. I'm much more thankful now than I was back then and mostly, mostly more patient I love giving thanks. I still write and mail physical thank you cards to people who've been kind to me or who've sent a gift. I love hearing thanks, too. I won't be squirming in my seat as my family and I pause before digging into our turkey dinner this year. I'll listen to each Thanksgiving and find joy. Over the past month or so, I've been gathering a little Thanksgiving to share with you today. Friends and family members, people I know in Pratt, and folks who live miles away have sent me or let me record brief moments of thanks. I share them today with permission in hopes that they will stir up a bit of thankfulness in your heart. I'm so thankful that my husband and I made it through tough years so we can enjoy being empty nesters together. I am thankful for farm animals. I'm thankful for my awesome job. I am thankful for Skyline Schools and all the unique kids that come to school out here. I'm thankful for my family. I am thankful for my customers that gives me the ability to have my own business. I'm thankful for good health and for the wonderful health care that we have in this town. I am thankful for my congregation and my family and for a God who has provided for me and loves me very much. I'm thankful for my children and my family. There is a lot to be thankful for, but I think the things I am most thankful for are family, friends, and good health. I'm thankful for the positive things that are going on right now in our church, and also for getting past all this virus and stuff that we've had. I am thankful for my faith, my family, my many friendships, my husband, my job, I'm thankful for my pet, and I'm thankful for my home. I am thankful for my cat. I'm thankful for how COVID caused me and my siblings to start meeting together on a weekly basis on Zoom, causing us to grow in our relationship with one another. I'm thankful for family. I'm thankful for the beautiful sunsets we've been having recently. I'm thankful for my family and also my job that allows me to help kids. This Thanksgiving, I am thankful for hope, silly siblings to laugh with, chai lattes and chocolate, pajama vacations, and Sunday naps. At the same time I was collecting the words of thanks you just heard from others, I recorded my own. Some days it was a single moment that caused thanks. Other days it was a more general thing. I share them with you now, mostly for my good. I need to be reminded of the blessings in my life. If you find some encouragement, that will be icing on the cake. I'm thankful for cake. Yum.
I am thankful today for a new, quiet, efficient furnace. I'm thankful today for middle schoolers playing music. I'm thankful today for doctrinally sound teachers and podcasters who make God's Word make sense. I'm thankful today for a postal service that can take gifts to people I love. Airplanes that take me to see family stir up Thanksgiving today. I'm thankful today for marriage. I'm thankful today for Mexican food. Strangely, today, I'm thankful for lizards. I'm thankful today for unexpected hugs. I'm thankful today for extra time to work. I'm thankful today for warm soup. I'm thankful today for fall colors. I'm thankful today for arcade games at a birthday party. I'm thankful today for family Zoom calls. I'm thankful today for law enforcement officers who care about kids. I'm thankful today that I learned to play guitar. I'm thankful today for finished sermons. First Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18 says, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. I urge you to give thanks to God, or a family member, or someone who's done you right. Do it today. God bless you all as you give thanks to him and rejoice in his goodness. Oh no, it's sad I know we've come to the end of the show. See you next time.